morning from, uh, what's the name of this place again? Squirrel Hill Farm. <laughs> I'm Ralph, this is my beautiful bride, Suzanne. I hope they gave me a fork. There it is. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> it's uh, our weekly breakfast in the, on the driveway here. We're yep. done with chores. It's Friday. It's uh, November 1st. The rain has stopped, but now you can see this is the current temperature. It was very, very cold this morning. This morning when I got up, it was 32. There was uh, some frost on the pumpkins this morning. Not our pumpkins, on somebody's pumpkins. Somebody else's pumpkins. Um, but the chickies made it through. They're all good this morning. Yeah. They're soaking in the sun. There'll be two weeks on Sunday. We did lose Pardon one chick um, a couple days after they were born, but overall they, they're really doing good. We, we're not using a light yet. We do drape a, a tarp down over the open area during that rain and then try to open it up during the day so they can have fresh air. And they're doing pretty well. We had she put some hay in there yesterday for them to scratch around and dry. We'll get it moved here in maybe next week. But we'll start letting them out. Yeah, we're but gonna start letting them run with Mama. There's been a hawk hanging around. I hadn't seen it in a day or so, but that doesn't mean he won't return. One of the little chicks got out this morning, and <laughs> Ralph was trying to get it back in. Mama runs out and starts flogging Ralph on the leg. She didn't really make contact, but she, <laughs> she hiked them wings up like she was going to flog me. I kind of laughed at her. It was funny. Stuff like that does humor me. Anyway, but. yesterday was Halloween. But I was busy making... Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Tonight is the big rehearsal dinner. For Justin. And For Morgan. my son. Tomorrow's the wedding. Today, I'm making a groom's cake. That's next on the agenda. That's next on the list. I will go so. back to the dishwashing area <laughs> and continue. Yeah, you're my dishwasher. I, I think I started my career as a laborer in the kitchen. And look where I've ended up. Yeah. I guess after 40 some years, I've got a lot of experience. Well, you know how to dirty them. 50 em. years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can do that too. But it's a busy week. I only got one off day and I went and got my hair cut and, and styled. Of course, you can't tell it now. This is, this is chore hair. <laughs> this is chore hair and I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so I've worked every day but one. Yesterday I got off at two and made the banana pudding. Started, yeah, last night. Um, two big pans of it. And it's not your normal banana pudding. It's, this has cream cheese in it. And it's got a bottom crust. Mm -hmm. unlike... It's kind of like a banana pudding cheesecake type yeah. thing. But, yeah. As you know, here in the South, I don't know about other places. They love banana pudding. Excuse me. Hope you didn't hear that. But yeah. if you did, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Ralph's it. used to it. They heard it. <laughs> Ralph's used to it. He's used to my belching. <laughs> but y'all ain't. But anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> well, not really, but I mean, you've heard <laughs> belching before, I'm sure. Um... What was I saying? About oh, the South. cream cheese. We love cream cheese and everything here, I think. It, Do we not? Yeah. I mean, we've started putting it in sausage balls. Yeah. I put it in, we put it in our my cheese thing for I, Christmas. I made a topping for French toast with it not too long yeah. ago. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's kind of like bacon. You put it in everything, it makes yeah. it better. Anyway, yeah. This is a Maybe good... we should make a bacon cream cheese sandwich. Uh, I don't know. On waffles. 
Oh, I'm, see, I'm a genius right there. Maybe. Maybe. Bacon makes everything better. Well, apparently cream cheese does too. <laughs> but it's a good recipe. It's a little more involved than your normal banana pudding. I hope it turns out. We'll see. Um, and banana pudding is also something that every um, meat and three and every uh, barbecue joint in, in Alabama has as an offering for desserts. Mm -hmm. It's it's like the uh, automatic dessert. Yeah. It's like the the official southern dessert, I yeah. think. It's the flan of the south. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, today I'm making a groom's cake, like I said. A red velvet. It's, yeah, red velvet cake. cake with cream cheese frosting. Um, because that's Justin's favorite cake. I think it's still his favorite cake. Yeah, well, that's... He had it so much his last birthday, everybody was giving him red velvet cake. I don't know, it might have changed. According to his fiance's mother, it is. <laughs> anyway. Well. He, uh, he hadn't said different, so. No, you're right, he hadn't. So, uh, but I don't think he would. That's what I'm making today. No, he's been checking on me fairly regular this week. Are you okay? Everything going okay? <laughs> um, I got in a little tiff at work, and uh, I made a little comment on Facebook. Next thing I know, he's texting me. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I need to be nice and not let stress make me be ugly like some of these people that come in the store. But it's all in a day's work. Hey, you know, sometimes, sometimes when I'm stressed, I, I go off. Yeah, I just I go, know. I go, boom. I know. <laughs> and and uh, this particular lady, God love her, bless her heart. Um. She just pushed that wrong button, and and I came back at her, and but in the end, I, I wished her a great day, and I meant it. Uh, so, I'm I'm hoping. I noticed in a lot of the other <laughs> homestead videos and uh, farm videos and that um, throughout the the country, the. Uh, autumn leaves are in full color in a lot of the people I follow and I was just looking out across here and they're kind of dingy they're not bright green but I've noticed in our pear tree is just red they'll the start are. changing real good after this cold yeah this yeah cold it was our spell. first real cold snap was last night so <clears throat> but I, I even see the oak tree leaves are kind of wildy they they won't fall off till late winter and spring um we had that dry spell that hurt them now we're getting a bunch of rain that might have helped them we might have some decent color i think up in around fort Payne and desoto state yeah. park it's it's changed even i more. imagine yeah because they've had some cold snaps but yeah the pear tree is beautiful right polish um we we live in uh, central alabama just about half hour north of the birmingham airport which puts us about two hours west of Atlanta, and we're an hour and change south of Fort Payne, if that draws you up on a map. Uh, Fort Payne, of course, is famous for the, the country band Alabama, who I think anybody that's still alive today has heard or heard of. Best, ba best musical group of all time, in my opinion. Well, maybe next to Leonard Skinner. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Are you done eating? No, I haven't touched it yet. Why not? I'm sitting here shoveling my face. Well, I was trying. And to... you don't have your sandwich out. Well, I'm, I'm going to get my sandwich right here. These people are going to think I don't let you eat. You don't. They can tell I eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was hungry this morning. And I was too. Mmm. Bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't? 
I don't trust anybody that doesn't like bacon or cream cheese. This would be good with cream cheese on it. For the people that don't have Jack's restaurants, this summer they started making on Texas toast. They started making sandwiches, including bacon. They should have got it toastier, though. Yeah, they grill it more than anything. I like my bread toastier. Mm-hmm. But it's, it looks like a good sandwich. They also make a, a BLT. It looks like a home sandwich. Yeah. That's why I like it. Cause it looks it's like a sandwich you'd make at home. Yeah. You know. First, I have biscuit and gravy. That's my go-to. Because we were watching Rick and Bubba this morning. Yeah. And Rick, I know he was eating biscuits and gravy. Yes, he and that, was. that got me thinking, I'd really like some biscuits and gravy. Maybe we'll put a link to Rick and Bubba. Yeah. We in listen the description. to them a lot. They're a conservative Christian group. Of people. Local. Yeah, they do uh they do podcasts and they also do a YouTube link. Along with the radio show. It started out in Gadsden twenty five years ago. And they talk about serious stuff and then they talk they they just get silly and funny and it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. But they're good old boy kinda. They, they deer and hunt and fish. Yeah, they like all that. They love football, sports. Yeah. Of all types. Yeah, they'll tell you about some sports. And they have some pretty good comic relief in it. So we watch and watch them on YouTube or listen to them here in the truck. So, tomorrow's the wedding. And I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I'll be a little bit glad when it's just done. Mm -hmm. Because I've got so much to do around here and I've had to... And I'm glad to do stuff for it. I'm, I'm happy I can contribute in some way. Um, I made the signs. I did the video for... For that cup, I made Morgan, and I showed y'all some of the signs I made. And uh, then I had to do had well, to do the cooking. Of, you took pictures of the signs the last I, year. I think I did. If you did, maybe you I could think I them. still have them. Maybe you could show them off in here. But and then working, and I hadn't been able to work on any of my crochet orders because I've been busy with other things. So I'm kind. I'll kind of be a little tiny bit glad when things are back to normal. Yeah. Um, and we get this behind us. Yeah, yeah. I see times getting long. Yeah. So we're still eating. Okay. Guinea guineas. I was fixing to kind of try to start to wind it up, kind of, uh -huh. sorta. So today. We'll be in the kitchen doing that, and uh, then tonight rehearsal dinner, and tomorrow's the wedding. That'll be an, excuse me again. That'll be another uh, all day affair, and then I think I'm off for the next two or three days, and that'll be lovely because I can recuperate. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, get started on my crochet orders again. So that's what's new here. Or not new, but updated. Um, chickens made it through the first cold spell real good. They're molten. They look horrible. But they're, they're good. We're still getting eggs. Guineas are good. Goats are good. The production talk worked we are we are getting eggs again <laughs> yeah um chicks are good mama hen's good uh everything around here is good i guess no fires no nothing's blown up 
So I think we're good. Yes. God has treated us good. Yeah. We're blessed. Boom. Mm. All right. Anyway. We'll, we'll see y'all later. Thanks and for y listening have to our ramblings. Day. and. Yeah. Thanks for joining us for uh, breakfast. We feel blessed that, that you do stop the ones that stop. And we, we like your comments. And look. The back of my yeah, truck. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is amazing, isn't out. it? There's nothing back there. There's nothing back here. We found things that we didn't know was missing. Yep, sure did. Found Ralph's <laughs> work gloves, yep. found his drill. You knew that was missing. What, the drill? Yeah. I thought for sure you left it in Atlanta. Mm -mm, I knew just... I didn't. I just, I knew it was somewhere covered up with something. <laughs> anyway, I've got the back of my truck back. Yeah, we can see out the back window. Yep. And we're going, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I have so much space. Anyway, y'all have a good day, a good right. weekend, a good first of November. Yeah. I hope you had a happy Halloween. And I guess we'll see you next time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Like and subscribe or, or, or both. Just, you know, mm -hmm. that, that. Yep, all that stuff. You know what to do. Thanks. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.